So guys, I am back with another Starfield video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get three of the best weapons in this game. Trust me guys, you don't want to miss this. New player, someone like me who's got up to New Game Plus or if you've gone into New Game Plus, these are weapons that will definitely help you again, three of the best in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Credit given where credit is due. I saw this on my pal's channel, Carpo Gaming, where he said he found this on Reddit. He's covering just a mag shield, but there's a couple of other weapons you can get from the same spot, which are just as good. Now, if you are the original finder of this, please hit me up on my Discord and I'll give you credit. Okay, so we have three weapons here. We have the mag share, the advanced version of it, the advanced razorback pistol, as well as the advanced bridger, which is a brutal heavy weapon. Now, to get all three of these guys, it's going to take a little trickery. But firstly, you want to come to your star map and you want to come to Narium, which is right by Sol and Av Centuri, and you want to go to Velo. Now, upon Velo, guys, you want to go to uh, Polvo, and then you want to go to Hometown and land right here. Now, the trick you use to do this is the same one we use to farm elites for legendaries uh, on Very Hard. Some, For some reason, it resets, well, it seemingly resets. Uh, items on shelves which is bizarre to me but it's a great little trick which we're going to take advantage of and I'll show you how to do this without being caught well for two weapons anyway so once you land guys you want to come this way so let's come this way run past the ranger shop and you want to go to this one right here best defense okay so once you are here guys you just want to create a manual save but firstly put your game difficulty on hard so on hard then come out and create a save. Let's create that manual save, just like so. Now guys, these weapons right here, mag shears, these are brutal. Some of the best you can get when the advanced versions of them. We also have here the Razorback, which is again, if you can get the advanced version of this thing, it is utterly unbelievable. And then guys, we have the last one there, which is the Bridger, amazing weapon. Okay, so to do this guys, what we wanna do is just grab these. Don't worry about being caught, caught by the shopkeeper. That doesn't matter, even though she didn't spot me. So now what we want to do, guys, is we want to load up that save we just made. And what should happen is these weapons should appear now as advanced versions. Yeah, how this works is beyond me, but it seemingly does. So let's go. Let's try this. Let's see if it worked for me. It may take you a couple tries to do this. You may get it first try. Let's see. I apologize about the Xbox Series X loading times, people. Okay, so, advanced, wow, that is absolutely incredible. So to steal this without being caught, I mean, there's a chance you can just grab it and the shopkeeper won't see you, especially because remember as well, guys, these are NPCs as well. If they've got their eyes locked onto you, you'll still get caught. So to do this, guys, to make it easier on yourselves, if you've got a skill point spare, invest in stealth. Because when you've got stealth, if you crouch, you can tell you if you're being detected or not, or you're hidden. And to do this, guys, you just want to come to this back corner here. Make sure no one's actually looking at you. Look at the weapon. Make sure you got a hidden bar. And just slowly go forward to it and grab it. Simple as that. Now, you can do, if you've got a companion, I don't have a companion because they're a pain in my ass. You can grab the one for companion too. I don't have a companion, so I don't need it. So from here, guys, you want to create another manual save so save the game i'm just going to save over that last one don't really matter just like so so now guys we're going to try and do the same thing with the razor back so let's grab this whether you're hidden or not it doesn't matter and we're just going to load up that last save we made and this should then rotate this loot to be an advanced version of it again it may take you a couple tries it may not so once we load back in, again, I apologize about the Xbox Series X loading times. Sometimes I do wish I brought this on PC, but if I had it on PC, guys, I'm cheating. I'm using all those codes. I don't care. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Advanced. Unbelievable. So now, guys, you can see I'm hidden. I'm just going to take it. Just like so. So I have it. Now, guys, I'm going to create another save because I have that now. I'm just going to save over that last one. Overwrite it, and there we go. Now guys, we want to try and get this. Now this one is more or less impossible to grab 
without being detected and spotted. More or less impossible. I mean, the shopkeeper's eyes are always facing this way. I mean, he can't really do much about it. So we're just going to grab it. And then we're just going to um, reload up that save we just made because we want the advanced version of this. So hopefully it works for this one too. Now you're going to have to pay a bounty. If you want this, you're going to have to pay a bounty. If you don't uh, want this, there's no bounty. You, you won't have to pay anything. I'm also going to showcase to you guys how you can um, avoid the risk of when you do get coloured or caught stealing and the takeaway or the items you've stolen, that these weapons will not be taken with them. Okay, so ne let's see. Okay, so you'll see now that this, guys, is the advanced version. Now, there's no way, there's no real way of you being able to get this um, without being caught. The one way you can, you can just grab it and run off. But what I'll do is I'll showcase to you guys how you can clear because if you've got a stolen item it appears in your inventory as stolen and then when you do get eventually get bust these will get taken off you. I'll show you how you can clear this stolen status. Um, but there will be a bounty for you to pay no matter what if you return here and I've heard you can skip time by a few days or come back here in a few days and the bounty may be cleared I don't know I'm not sure how true that is but if you grab that guys once you grab it you just want to run to your ship as fast as you can run don't hang about just run because if you get too close to any cup or anything like that you'll see that the things will be removed from your inventory and that's not what we want that's not what we want so you can see the bounties popped up then they need to get to your cockpit of your ship super super quick cockpit there we go you should be good from here again if you steal them and you run around on that planet there's a chance it'll pop up on your screen that they've been removed from your inventory now, no matter what, when we come back here, there's going to be a bounty for us to pay. It will be about 8,000 because of the one item. It could be worse, it could be the three. Uh, but we only got caught stealing the one. And I'm going to show you how you can clear that now. But these are definitely worth it, guys. 8,000. I wish I would have known about this earlier. I really would have because these are three, by far, three of the better weapons I have seen in this game. So now, as you can see in our inventory, we have. Uh, the advanced Razorback, the advanced Magshia, and the advanced Bridger. So now, guys, we've got to clear that status. So go to your star map, and you want to come out of this, and you want to go to the wolf system right here. And now, guys, you want to go to the den, which is a space station, and jump to this. Now, keep in mind, when you do go back to this planet or any other planet where there will be a bounty on your head, once you get coloured, every item that you have stolen has that stolen status will be removed from your inventory. So if you're going to do this for these weapons, you may as well do it for every item you have classed as stolen. Now I can't see anything here. It's pretty dark. Now there's a space station. I'm just going to fly towards this and then lock onto it. Duck onto it. Now this is completely free by the way. You won't have to pay anything for this. The only thing you have to pay here is that bounty once you return. But you get to keep the items and I'll show that to you today. So we're just going to duck on here. Now if there is a way to clear bounties um, that I'm unaware of, please let us know down below within the comments section. Okay, so board. And without um, Chameleon, I'm not even sure how good Chameleon is to be honest. Uh, I know there's one called The Void which is a superpower which is incredible you probably have to steal it with that but um that's a random as you know with these superpowers you don't know what you're gonna get so you want to come to this dude right here click on him and you want to click to sell these items to him okay so you want to find your items the ones that you've just stole uh we've got the bridger the mag Shear, and the razorback now guys we saw them too and we want to go back to the shop inventory and we want to come to the very bottom where it says buy back and buy these back it removes that stolen status now while you're here guys do it with everything you've stolen i mean if you've got things that you've stolen do it for everything that you've stolen no matter what they are do it because once you do get colored on a planet and you probably will if you got this weapon um i think they've got that stolen status and it will be removed from your inventory I'm not sure what I've got here. There's probably a few things I've got stolen. It don't really bother me that much. There's nothing of a uh, mass importance for me. But the most important thing is say this will get taken off me. 
um, and whatever else has got that stolen status that will don't really matter I mean you can sell these to this guy you buy them back for the same price uh, so you're not losing any credits so well, I'm not really fussed about that okay so now guys you'll see if we go back to the cockpit of our ship just like so we're gonna go back to that planet and you'll see guys that even though I will be busted I will be um, finds the 8,000 credits or whatever it is I still get to keep these three incredible weapons again this won't happen if you don't steal that bridger and get spotted for it so keep that in mind if you got a west <laughs> stealing it without being spotted you're three we still need to come to the den to clear them so you want to go back to Narion and as you can see there's an 8,000 uh, dollar bounty which is fine don't worry about that now as soon as you land here you should have Probably one of these officers run up to you. So it's gonna land here. And you'll see guys that they will take everything you've stolen. It's got the stolen status on it again. Sell it to the vendor there. We just come to under wolf, under den. If you don't want your shit taken off you. Again, I apologize about the Xbox Series X loading times, people. They are atrocious. Okay, so you can see him running at me. Run away, him up. You ain't catching me. Now look, watch. Yes, yes, pay the credits, whatever. Smart. Or fight them, it's up to you. Pay the credits. And you'll see they will take your, they'll take everything that you've had, well, whatever is in your inventory that was stolen. Nothing major for me. But again, if you come out of here, guys, you can go back to that shop. You can interact with a vendor. You can do whatever you want. And you'll still get to keep these weapons. There we go. And there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one